Everything that has a beginning has an end. Make peace with it and all will be well. Hey, Elijah Wells here. Um, this is to just throw out there, this is a spoiler review. The reason being is that although the last time, like, like the uh, Infinity Wars, I did like a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review all in the same video because not everyone's watched it at the same time as I did, of course. I think I know a couple of friends I haven't seen it yet. But this time, knowing the trailer showed not that much of the, of the plot, and that it's just only really come came out recently, uh, this is a movie I feel like it's bit it's going to be a bit bit difficult for me to tread lightly, uh, to tread lightly on the non-spoiler section. And the more I thought about it, the more I looked back on trailers, and whilst thinking uh, through it in my head while watching the video, I felt like, hmm. I think this video, I think this movie is gonna be way too tricky eh, to pull off on a, a spoiler-free video. So this is the reason why it's just too. Uh, just thinking back on it, uh, it's gonna be might be a bit too tricky to pull off. Uh, thinking about how much plots are in a film and how how uh, lightly I need to tread through the film. But all all in all, just I hope you like this video and here's the spoiler review for Avengers Endgame. This is a spoiler review, don't comment like I didn't tell you. Hello, my name's Elijah Wells and today's review is Avengers Endgame! Taking place sometimes after the, sometime after the events of Avengers Infinity Wars when Thanos snapped his fingers and half of humanity is vaporised. And they found they found out uh, that, that there was a six. They found out that where did these six time stones came from, and of course, have to travel back in time to reverse the events of Infinity Wars. Unfortunately, they didn't bring back Vision. Unfortunately, Vision fans, which unfortunately I couldn't see any of you, he isn't back. Like I uh, said, uh, the film is very humorous when Tony Stark mistake, mistakes Rocket as a talking uh, builder bear thing of like, ah, bangy. Or when they travel back to the opening scene to Guardians of the Galaxy and just clout people quill in the head. Like, <laughs> what you say? This is for you for firing James Gunn to only rehire him, just making an appointment scandal. <laughs> Don't worry, it will return. The visual effects, especially the third act, just incredible. Like, woo! Okay, please, 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 please. Okay. Just incredible. I was like, I just get, I just got so overwhelmed by the experience that uh, at fire, I was watching it in 3D. I was like, whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I felt it just took some. It was just so exhausting to watch it every time they. Slow down the action slightly. I just had to uh, just wind my brain up a little bit and catch my breath a little bit because it was just it was just so much was going on in that third act, that final scene where Thanos uh, travels back in time to collect the stones, uh, despite uh, some uh, doubly doubly thingies that happen with time travel. Of course, uh, some scenes were pretty intense when. Captain America faces his worst enemy. It's himself, unfortunately. And I felt like, mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, they pretty much uh, went, pretty much uh, messed around with continuity. Like, please note, they they're all Hydra soldiers, and we didn't know at that point. And Captain America was like, eh. hell, Hydra. Then spots uh, Captain America like, okay. <laughs> then knocks the 2012 version out. Like, damn, that is America's ass. Of course, there was this uh, very powerful scene where Tony had some dad talk with se with his seventies dad, Howard St Stark, who before he was killed in a car accident some somewhere in the nineteen ninety one by the Winter Soldier. He said he just wanted a girl and hopes his uh, and gives some swiping advice and what and also Tony talks about his daughter, which he has now, which he which he has now, and that. And that uh, Pepper is his is his wife. Yay! Marriage. It l never lasts long in Hollywood. In reality, check in the forefront, but yeah. <laughs> as well as for pretty much Luke, pretty much let himself go and being this 
marginally overweight Viking and thankfully Krog and Taika Waititi are alive and so is Valkyrie and there's Hawkeye who's now this assassin mercenary now apparently they only touched in like a couple scenes like and my sufferings got me to kill more people and that uh, Japan's gun laws let them, of course let themselves go like a force weight Seriously, there was, there was, uh, the actions, uh, the action scenes incredible, so are the visual effects, uh, uh, pretty much, when, uh, the, the dead characters come back from live, when Thor, uh, reactivates the reverse gauntlet, like, like, ah, the birds are out! Oh wait, that's Vanus' is. <laughs> oh dear, we have a battle. Don't worry, Doctor Strange and his... Weird circle twirly drop like his hard dance thing and brings all the characters back to life! I was just hope my mum didn't hear me from that because she hasn't seen it yet. If you're watching this mum, please don't take it from me. I was like, when Pink Panther comes out, I was like, Wakanda forever, we run bay. We run bay. And Guardians, when the dead Guardian Galaxies characters come out, I was like, Yes, finally they rehired James Gunn for definite. Finally, that thing, that fiasco was proven pointless. Yes, and Captain Marvel, who was there for the like, the opening ten or so minutes, comes back up for being absent for much of the film. I don't know what she was doing. Probably going to that um, cap cafeteria, go to a space cafeteria in Star Wars, which is run by Disney at this moment. Or they, or she just gets an. A new haircut, which he's probably probably is just overdoing at this point. And there's Spider-Man. Good news, Spidey fans. He feels so good. Yes, the Spider-Man who's going to where no Spidey has gone for, going to Europe, with far from home. He does feel so good. All know the humorous, brilliant acting of Tony Stark uh, in his and uh, Chris Evans, particularly in their final film. Uh, it's just really emotional since the emotional weight is pretty damn hard. I was literally in tears in, uh, when Final Act land, like, oh no, no. Because, okay, because, uh, what do you say, a certain character dies? I was like, oh no. When I just uh, say their name, it just, uh, just uh, started to develop, like, depression in me. Like, oh no, 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 I don't want to imagine that, I don't want to imagine that. When I was talking to my mum on the way back from, from the cinema, like, Okay, who dies? I was like, no. Okay, what happens to me? Why didn't make you cry? I was like, no, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you who dies. Who dies? I'm not going to tell you. I seriously don't want to. You don't want to hear it. No, no, no. Okay, I'll watch you if Dad wants to. Whew. It's biggest sigh of relief. Mum, that was a bit intense, but thank you. P.S. I can't drive yet, but yeah. The humour is getting brilliant, the visuals are mind blowing, the action scene is just incredible, even if you haven't watched it on IMAX like me did. And the action just blew me away. I feel like this is uh, this serves a, like a really good conclusion to the MCU if it ends like like that on the on store, but there's like apparently like a Black Widow movie, Spider Man movie, Guardians movie, apparently an Eternals movie and rumoured to be a Black Panther 2 movie. All rumours spreading around, but all in all, I am pretty psyched to see what's going to happen next. All in all, this is a solid 9 out of 10. I recommend you, yes, you watch it. No excuses. Stop what you're doing unless you're watching this movie, but this review, or just watch the movie already, but yeah. Just do yourself a favour, just watch the movie if you haven't. If you have, just let me know in the comments below and. Like, let me show you like, subscribe, and bye, yo.